Hey everyone, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use Digital Factory's step and repeat feature. Step and repeat is useful when you want a customized, repeatable pattern from your images. To get started, we'll import your image. Here's a useful tip. Sometimes images include extra, unneeded space around them. In order to create more aesthetically pleasing patterns, it's better to crop the image a little tighter prior to proceeding. If you want to crop your image, open the Job tab and click on Tiles. You can adjust the crop of your image by dragging the corners to the desired position. In our example, there is a little extra space on the right, so we'll apply a crop to that side. The Copies tool provides users with two standard options create single or multiple copies of an image, or to access the step and repeat tool. To get standard copies of the image, click on Copies under the Job tab. By default, Digital Factory will create one copy of your image. To get a more customized, repeatable look to your copy, click on Copies again and the step and repeat feature will open. There's two main parts to the interface, the preview area and the properties. The preview area is like a live preview and will reflect any of the changes you make in the properties. In the properties, you'll be able to adjust the number of rows and columns to create a seamless pattern with your image. If you want to change the look, there are five different patterns to get you started, with options to tweak them even further. The Generate Partial Items option is turned on by default, but if you don't like the look of that, you can easily turn it off by unchecking that box. You can also adjust the spacing of each image by percentage or specific measurements. Let's bring in another image to show you how this is done. With our new image, We'll go back into the step and repeat feature and adjust the rows and columns to 3x3, three three, the pattern style to continuous row offset, and a ratio of 1 to 2. We'll adjust the Y spacing to minus 0.3 to bring the rows closer together. You can now see that it brings a nice tight pattern to the overall image. You can adjust the spacing using positive or negative offsets depending on the effect you're looking to achieve. This is particularly useful for textiles and wallpaper patterns. The last thing in step and repeat we haven't covered is the area fill. If you click on this checkbox, the columns and rows will change to the length and width of the substrate. Let's say you have a tablecloth that is 48 inches by 55 inches. You can input those values and Digital Factory will generate a pattern perfectly equal to those dimensions. You can also save these as presets for future use using the save and load buttons at the bottom. See what Step and Repeat can do for you by trying out the full version of Digital Factory version 10 for free at catlink.com. Thanks for watching. If this video helped you, hit the like button. And if you have any other questions, please let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos covering all of Catlink's products.